Although the third-generation Audi TT was unveiled in early 2014, it didn't cross the pond to the US until 2015, for the 2016 model year. Whether the high-performance TT RS will have the same fate is still a mystery, but the good news is that Audi has just unveiled the beefed-up coupe at the 2016 Beijing Auto Show. It remains to be seen whether North America will get it sooner than 2017, but when that happens, US Audi gearheads will get the lightest and most powerful TT ever produced. The TTRS saga began in 2009, 11 years after the Audi TT's launch and 3 years after the TT MK2 single quote S introduction. Available as both a coupe and roadster, it climbed above the TTS and the TT range. The company's first compact RS was powered by the legendary, 2.5-liter, 5-cylinder engine that produced 335 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of twist, and featured revised styling and a sportier interior. The TTRS came to the US in 2012, when the Plus model was launched. Fitted with an uprated version of the 2.5-liter Turbo 5, the TTRS Plus had a cool 360 ponies and 342 pound-feet on tap. Already more powerful than a Porsche Cayman, the Plus will be replaced by an even wilder version of the TT equipped with a brand new iteration of the 2.5-liter, 5-cylinder engine. Audi dropped the official details on the new TTRS at the 2016 Beijing Auto Show. As predicted by our rendering, the new TTRS features a design based on the third general TT meaning it borrows the base car's sharp front grille and redesigned headlamps and bumper. Making the car look far more aggressive than its regular sibling is a honeycomb mesh, seen on other recent high-performance Audi Audi S. In the single-frame grille, the larger air intakes in the bumper, and the silver blade-like element at the bottom of the apron. Much like the previous generation model, the interior of the TTRS is based on the standard cars, but enhanced by sportier features. Highlights include red accents on the A-C vents, red stitching on the center console, gear shifter, and doors panels, and a flat bottom steering wheel with an RS badge. The latter is also wrapped in leather and now has two operating buttons for turning the engine on and off and for the drive select function.